Okay, so let's look at number 12. We have a rectangular field that's going to be fenced off and divided into six rectangular strips. So the best thing to do with this question is to start with a diagram. So I have my rectangular field and I'm going to divide it into six rectangular strips. So there's my six rectangular strips. I'm told that I have a perimeter of 420 meters of fencing. And I want to come up with the rectangle that's going to give me the maximum area. So let's look at what we have. We have a width, 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 all the way across. And we have length and length. So an expression that I can use for my perimeter is two lengths plus seven widths equals 420. Now remember, we're only allowed one variable. So I'm going to isolate one of my variables, and it doesn't really matter which one I do. So I'm just going to isolate L. So subtract 7W from both sides, and I get 420 take away 7W. Then I'm going to divide both sides, or every term rather, by 2. So I end up with length is equal to 210 take away 3.5W. Now it doesn't matter which one that you isolate again. So let's look at my new variables that I have. So I have my width is going to be w, and my new expression for length will now be 210 take away 3.5w. So I'm going to use these new expressions to come up with an expression for area. So I know that area is length times width. So again, using my new expression for length, I have this. Okay, so what I need to do is apply the distributive property. So I'm going to multiply everything by w and come up with an expression for the area. So area is going to equal to 210 times w and negative 3.5w times w. And I'll just rewrite that so that w squared is first. So now I'm ready to complete the square. So again, remember, we're going to factor out whatever number is in front of our variable squared, so which is a negative 3.5. So negative 3.5 divided by negative 3.5 is w squared. 210 divided by negative 3.5 is negative 60w. So inside the brackets, I need to figure out what to add. So I'm going to take negative 60, divide it by 2, and square it to get 900. So I'm going to add and subtract 900 inside my brackets. So in doing this, I have created a perfect square trinomial. So let's focus on just my perfect square trinomial. So I'm going to rewrite it so that my bracket... Sorry. I'm going to rewrite it so that my brackets are only around my perfect square trinomial. Now, I would put negative 900 outside the brackets, but it's really negative 3.5 times negative 100. So what goes outside the brackets is actually 3,150. So finishing this question off, I have negative 3.5. Now I'm going to factor. So the square root of w squared is w. Half of negative 60 is negative 30 squared and then plus 3150. So now I'm going to look at my expression and identify the vertex. So the vertex is positive 30 and 3150. So this is the maximum area and my variable again was w so that means that is the width. So I have a width of 30. I can now solve for my length using our expression 210 take away 3.5w. So 210 take away 3.5 multiplied by 30. So I can plug all of that into my calculator and figure out what my length is. So in doing that, I get a length of 105. So I know that my width is 30 meters, my length is 105 meters and it will give me a maximum area of 3150 meters squared made with doodlecast pro